Hello? All right. Welcome back. This is a special stream. Bad idea eating the donut. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're here at San Diego Comic-Con 2023 in a hotel overlooking the convention center, right over there. With us we have Mod Prime, <laughs> here he go over there. She's snuffing up, yeah, let's do it. This is a little weird, clapping in real life. This, uh, this is too interactive. I'm used, I'm used to like just being in silence, this is odd. And then we have Crispy Egg Roll, <laughs> checking up on his stonks, his stonks. Checking and up then, on the chat, sir. Okay, and then PK over here. <laughs> and I had turned the camera around to show everyone before. I'm not going to do it because that, that actually that's what caused the, the issue. But we have uh, 12 of our sub, or tier 3 subs, long time tier 3 subs here in the suite with us. Uh, they have all, I, I ordered 24 donuts. And I was thinking, like, man, that's a lot, but they're all gone. So uh, next time I have to up that number. Okay. Um, no face reveals ruins everything. You're right, Blue X. It's better to fantasize. Well, fantasize is not It's better to imagine what you know. Yeah. Book and red <laughs> looks like. Why he's calling us fat? Hey. You can't talk crap about me while you're sitting right here. If you want to say it, say it out loud. Uh, this, <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. On the internet. If you can't say it to my face, don't type it in chat behind your little your little phone over there. Anyway. Uh, all right. I actually don't know how this is gonna go. Oh, are you gonna are you are you also live streaming no. from there? <laughs> okay, you should do that. You should live stream. Should I? No, no yeah. Well, live stream the live are you live streaming stream. from your yeah, you could wow, stream that. Yes. Yeah, so yeah so let's funny. do it. For those of you who <laughs> Crispy Egg Roll. Yes, fantasize about me. Uh, I'm a little nauseous. Um so Kate Kirihiko is is gonna set up her camera, which looks like a really cool setup. I, I have literally duct tape wrapped around a camera that doesn't work with like a webcam attached on top of it with cables that are taped down. So she's going to do the reverse angle so you can see the audience as they cringe and, and cry uh, when they lose. No, so uh, we're going to do some giveaways too. All right. How many of you guys in chat are at San Diego Comic Con right now? You know what? Yeah. Huh? Wait, should we be on the stream? Yeah, if you guys all want to stream, like, yeah, let's. Like, yeah, because you could win. The hotel Wi Fi goes down. <laughs> <laughs> Ninth floor, there's a surge of Wi Fi activity. The whole con Wi Fi system goes down. Why? Okay. No, oh, a lot of you guys are not. Some of you are here. Well, some of you are here in the room. Yeah, ha ha ha. <laughs> Punker thirteen. Yes. Uh, is the con open yet? Yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, given that there's no Hollywood presence here, or a lot, a, a more diminished presence, uh, what do you guys think of the show? Honest, honest answers so only. Fun. So much fun. The way you say that sounds like you were at like, yes. so much fun. <laughs> I had an incredible time. It was so. Wait, yeah, no, huh? Huh? It's been good. It felt a little like uh, cons of your past. Um, I was wandering around with my kids who are adults now. We're like, because there's no. There was supposed to be an EW party last night, and it got canceled because. Uh, you know, a lot of the celebrities and actors weren't going to be here, and no one wants to compete with the EW party because no one will go. So it effectively killed any party from last night. So usually there's a party at the Hard Rock every night, hosted by a different company. And so it was just like we we're wandering around looking for trouble, you know, like looking for something to do. And I had a distinct memory years and years ago. It was me and some other creators and Steve, and, and I don't remember exactly who was with me, other than Steve Olaf. Who is 
Original you call Paris. your okay. Look at that. See, all right, all right. I think Trevor's got one point. You can challenge that. <laughs> yes, he did do that. Yeah. So I remember wandering around with him, and uh, we're just wandering around looking for people to hang out with. This is how cons worked back in the day, because there was no social, and I don't think there was even an iPhone. I honestly don't even know how we found each other. <laughs> Uh, but you wandered around, and we walked all the way to that Holiday Inn Hotel. Is this still there? Anyone? You, do you know what? Um, it's a cylindrical hotel. It's far. It's not close. Oh, it's right off the freeway. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can someone Google map that? Can you, like, how far? That, oh, it's, this is great. I feel like I've got 12 assistants. Like, my mind is exponentially, like, like uh, yeah, like, I can do anything. Like, quiz me. I can tell you, you know, the uh, population of any city in the world, like, and it's a yes, it's a glizzy shaped hotel. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, God. And then we, uh, <laughs> and then we. Oh, wait, is, is is Kelsey here? Kelsey's here. Oh, hey, Demon Girl One uh, Zero Zero. Yeah. So yeah, we were wandering around looking for trouble, and that's what we used to do back in the day. And we would. Right, so has someone figured out how far away it is? It's not being a holiday in anymore. Let's see. Oh. Hmm. Pretty branded. Yeah. Huh? I was gonna say I don't. I don't know one close to here. Yeah. No, it's not close. It's off the high, off the five so in uh, Little Italy, uh, and that's been uh, you know changed. But can you find that like a hotel over there? Yeah, okay. Is there a clean access here too, by the no, way? I'm, I'm or <laughs> is there someone in the room over there? Yeah, yeah. Go in, go in there. Uh, Mason and Remy are in there. I, Lucas is in that room with his girlfriend. So. Holiday Inn Express. No, it must not be a Holiday Inn anymore. They locked it. Oh my God! All right, no, never mind. Uh, hold on. Eleven minute drive. One point four mile. One point four miles. Yeah, literally, it's like one point two. They didn't send us any napkins. No. All right. The nerds can spend more. Hey, I need to go. Can I? The tea. Yeah. Okay, close the door. Thanks. All right, so, uh, Yeah, so 1.4 miles. Two to four, yeah, we can't lock the building, but right in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's off the Highway 5 here, downtown San Diego, if you know the city. So I remember walking there, and because uh, someone heard that someone was having a party in their hotel room. And so we went up there, and that's kind of what we, like, people just wandered around looking for parties in hotel rooms, because there were, no one could afford, like, an actual place to go. Um, but but every now and then you would have celebrities show up. I, I remember um, I had a I would rent uh, rent I would uh, there's a presidential suite at the Marriott. This is during the Wildstorm days. At the very top, it's a two-story penthouse um, suite, right? So there's like a big area that's in the bottom, and then upstairs is the bedroom, and and uh, or maybe it wasn't here a suite here at at this hotel, but uh, Ben Affleck back in 2003, was that Daredevil? The movie Daredevil? And, and yeah. I think Ben yeah. read comics or he knew something. But anyway, he was there. He came to the party. Uh, and then I think Joss Whedon maybe was. I, so it would happen, but it was like they were like unicorns, right? Um, you know, uh, whereas now if you go to Nobu, you know, on any given night, between like eight and ten, right? Book and red—that's the prime spot, wouldn't you say? Like, yes. yeah, yeah. That, that, like, if you wait there, you'll probably see a lot of, you know. I remember. Well, one time I remember uh, that there's that side private dining room. Like the entire cast of Game of Thrones was there. Like, you know, the, for, it must be like shooting fish in a barrel. Like, you know, like for you, like it's like, ah, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> you just stand in the doorway and they can't leave without getting past you, and. Um, and uh, this year, by like 9.30 at Nobu, I would say it was half empty. Maybe not so much last night, but the night before, you know, it definitely muted, right? So, 
So what you, what have you guys done? Like, so you, it's still a cool experience. I, I would imagine it's still cool. Like it's a chance to like be around other like-minded people. So it's almost like as long as there's something going on, um, you know, I'm going to start finishing this piece up. Is Victor here? VZA? Oh, sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. Yeah. So uh, uh, this is uh, his, uh, his uh, suggestion. <laughs> and... Uh, Ed Boone, Ed Boone, yeah. I wanted to hear that story. <laughs> oh, um, well, I've Ed met Ed a number of times, but oh, he, he just was, he came by, I was doing a signing at the DC booth. Can you guys hear when people ask in the background? Can anyone say that? Old School Gamer 1997, this is so amazing. Yeah, we're going to do this every, li uh, every live stream. I'm going to have people come to my house. <laughs> <laughs> just rotate people through. Do some yard work. Uh, <laughs> pull weeds. Yeah, pull weeds. <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> oh, first time chat. Someone's dropping some coins. Look at that, guys. Can you please like take note? This is the proper behavior <laughs> of people on stream. We've got a thousand green <laughs> thingies. I go like. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. Thank, thank you, Neo Packet. I I am a thousand year, a thousand year in green shiny things. Um, I saw some guy online, and all he does is react to the uh, emojis that appear. In his <laughs> I shouldn't even go here. Right? And he's like, ah, and he's like a twitching robot, and makes money just doing that. And like, why did I learn how to draw? What, like, I'm wasting my life, you know? It's a sad, like, on my deathbed, it'll be like the one regret. It's like, I wish I just, you know. But anyway, so. Um, Presidential suite at the Marriott sounds like an oxymoron. Hmm. Anyway, it was a, it was an awesome suite, uh, but those days are long gone. All right. What am I? So the story with Ed Boon, yeah, he just came by to say hi. Oh, okay. Yeah, and um, and uh, did he do a panel? Yeah. No, I thought maybe he mentioned the art you were working on. Mm, yeah, he didn't. He didn't. He, I have to always reintroduce myself. I'm Jim Lee. He goes, what? <laughs> no, no, you know those guys. You have to, you know, you meet like five or six times before they. No, Ed's a really great guy, uh, and obviously I did some redesign work on on uh, Scorpion and Sub Zero, I think. But they didn't ask me to do any more. But oh well. Uh, <laughs> And uh, you would think like, oh, I'm I'm drawing, you know, the character with the fans. He's oh, Katana. said, yeah, yeah. And he and then he just walked away. <laughs> he he could have he could have said, awesome. Let me see it because we might put it in the game. And like, mm, it's all right. <laughs> so uh, nah, nah, nah. anyway, but I I did we did talk about the uh, reveal I saw online, which was uh, Peacemaker. That looked badass. And then Homelander. Which is from the yeah. boys, right? And yeah. and you guys know who originally published the boys, right? No. What Garth Ennis? Uh, he he's the writer. Yes. Yes. We Wildstorm. Yes. We were the original publishers of the boys. They call themselves nerds. I don't know. <laughs> it's questionable now. Um, yeah, but we had a kind of we had a kind of we 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 gave it back to the creators. We sold it back to the creators. There were some sensitivity issues in terms of the storyline <laughs> and uh, so to me it's that's kind of like the the one that got away but I also believe that in you know in timelines you just can't go back and make a, a change of decision and think that the same outcome would happen right that if we kept on if we held on to the boys that somehow we would have given the rights to Amazon it would have been exactly the same show so I, I do feel like um, life doesn't really work that way. I can't really prove it because none of us have mastered the ability to control time yet. Um, but I think it's coming. Okay. Uh, your fav highs and lows of the con. This is what I do with my kids. <laughs> Kelsey is being triggered here. We force our kids to engage with us, um, usually at dinner, uh, be because if you ask them like, "How was your day?" and it's like, "Mmm," and uh, oh, "Yeah," and Mm, mm, yeah, and so by being specific, asking for highs and lows, you're you're forcing them to um, 
think about their day and share their thoughts. Uh, and uh, the answers still are subpar, if I could be honest. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Um, the truth comes out. No. So, I don't know. I, I don't want to put, per, like, if you some people don't like to talk, but you guys want to share, like, something cool that really was amazing that happened, aside from coming here and being part of this incredible live stream? <laughs> Frank Miller, uh, I, you know, I didn't even know Frank Miller was here, and I saw like there are a lot of people. I, I was at the Eisners, and they were mangling, you know, Lee Bermejo's up for a number of awards, and they kept mangling his name over and over, and I had to yell, Lee Effin Bermejo, and uh, <laughs> and uh, and I ran into him last night at a party and uh, at a DC thing, and then I, just, I didn't even know you were here, and yeah, he he was at the same awards. It's a cavernous room, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, he and he was. He 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 wanted he wanted to scream obscenities at the people because you know it it kind of because not only did they mangle his name but then people laughed right because it was you know and it's like eh, you know like you want to be yeah, whatever you know so I get it I get it that's why I shortened my name to just Jim Lee right like I hope he comes back but I don't know if he will. <laughs> Oh, to the awards, are we? Uh, or just to San Diego, because Bermejo hasn't been here for like, like a good amount of time. Yeah, it's been, yeah. yeah he lives in uh, Italy. Italy yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I ran into a creepy night, but that was cool. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right, but that's not your high, though. No, it was, yeah. Oh, it was, all right. Yeah, because, well, he's like one of my favorite artists. So, uh-huh. Um, Can you guys hear the conversation? Someone said, this mic is insane, so that I, I'm assuming you can hear it all. They said earlier it was a little muffled. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, go ahead. But yeah, yeah, I ran to him creepy night, and yeah, he's one of my favorites. So he like, I got an Italian edition, uh, edition of his art book. Yeah. So he like drew in it for me. So that was nice. Yeah. And he was a super nice guy to talk to. You. Yeah. Right. What did he draw for you? Just a uh, quick Batman. Oh. Uh, not on me right now. How quick Batman. <laughs> I have a picture. I have a picture for you. Oh, you know, I need reference for this. Uh, shoot. Let me pull this up. The costume detail. You don't want any of them to pose for reference? I do pose uh, for both male and female figures when I draw. I, I have to slim myself down for the male figures and then, you know. <laughs> anyway. Old joke, old joke. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so if you you feel oddly attracted to me when you meet me, it's, yeah, it's I pose for Psylocke, I pose for Rogue, I pose for Colossus, they're all, it's, it's all the same person, me, yes. All right, uh, Katana, Mortal Kombat. Okay. You know, there there's enough versions of this costume, and I'm kind of doing my own take that I can just kind of wing it. Think. Creative liberties. Correct, correct. Okay, so that was your high meeting Lee Bermeo. He gave you a quick sketch. A yeah. quick sketch. Yeah. Yeah. That okay. was nice of him. yeah, super nice of him. And then your low? Lines. Lines? <laughs> yeah. Lines were extra brutal this year. Oh, yeah? yeah? Just like, I think I waited like, yeah, I was telling the guy, I, think I waited like an hour for Scott Williams yesterday. What? Wait, yeah. what? <laughs> or, or not, was it yesterday or the day before, yeah. My Scott Williams? Yeah. Really? <laughs> you mean, yeah. no, I, I, no, no disrespect <laughs> to Scott Williams. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, that's, that's amazing. I'm, I'm so happy for him because I was just checking out his feed and he's doing all these amazing covers for some other company and, you know, they're cool, like, covers and I'm like this is what that was his kind of dream to to do more penciling he just could never do it because he was very slow yeah. um, but you can't make a lot of money off of that because if you're only doing covers you just get cover rate right like you know if you don't do interiors you don't get royalties but because the original art market has taken off now he can make a living from just doing covers right because you could sell the original right so the economics of the business have flipped uh, to help to sort of favor that so I'm oh that's great I I, I was gonna go say hi today but I see him all the time I'm like why am I gonna go now I, now, now I have to go wait in line to see my ink like, eh. so I just call him <laughs> so uh, 
He had a line cap? <laughs> it wasn't a huge line, but it was like cap, and he had like, you know, kind of like hover just to get back in or something. I had like, I had like 18 people in line when I signed a hex. Uh, so I'm, I'm doing something wrong, apparently. <laughs> oh no, they capped it. Um, that's, that's great. Did you look happy? Yeah, you look happy. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe a little tired because there's a little bit of a lot of stuff going on. But yeah. Yeah, it was good. good. Yeah. Do you just go up and sit, talk to him, or do you buy something, or what? Uh, what is the I move? I tell him real quick, and then uh, he signed my my books for me. I actually ran into him because he's local to San Diego. Yeah. So I ran into him like once or twice before. Um, what? The cheetahs? No. No. What? I, I I don't know. I, I, it's a zo zoological society uh, foundation it's the, thing. At the zoo. I don't even know if there's a place called like back in the day there was just there were a lot of young people in the yeah. studio. They they would tell me. My, my friends rated the number one spot to go to. What? Cheetahs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I was trying to move. I was trying to move off that time. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Brian has a ring list all right. of all the Mod, kiss me please. <laughs> alright, alright. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> He's gotta go in the penalty box. He's gotta go in the penalty box. Yeah. For sure. 100%. Go stand in the corner for two minutes. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mutant IRL. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, we got one. Wait, where do you see him? Uh, no, I saw him. First time I saw him, I actually sat right next to him during the first Wonder Woman movie. And you did you tell him? I wasn't sure if it was him after, but then this is the one line he said. He was like, "Inking Justice League was like so tiring." And then I canceled Justice League. Yeah, I know, I know. So he's saying inking me was tiring. He said, and then I talked to him about it later. He said, like, "Wait, wait, you were talking to him in the movie theater?" No, I, I, oh, you were just listening in? He was just muttering to himself? <laughs> <laughs> you know how like, you, you wait like, the previews, right? So he was talking to his wife. I hate people that talk during previews. <laughs> <laughs> wait, you were, yeah, you, were, you, were, you just happened to buy the seat next to Scott Williams. Yeah, that was the first the Scott Williams, yes. legendary inker, yes. uh, embellisher of my work. Yes. Right, and then like you're sitting next to him, you're going, oh, how do I say something to him? Oh, I didn't. I just let him enjoy the movie. Oh, but you were listening to his every word. <laughs> well, he just said, he just said, I just heard that one line, and I was like, talking to my wife, I was like, uh, I think that's Scott Williams, and then, you know, she's like, he's that. Well, you then, said that to your wife? No, no, she said that, and then later on, like, I And, and you don't think Scott wife. heard you guys? <laughs> so, so, right. so later on, like, I, I messaged him on Twitter, I was like, hey, I don't want to be weird, but I think I just had next nice to you. <laughs> I don't want to be weird. Uh, yeah, so but. then I talked to him and then... Um, On Twitter. Yeah, so he's like, yeah, you should have said hi. And I was like, oh, my bad. And yeah, you should always say hi. I would, uh, just general advice, if you're sitting next to someone that you know, you should, because what if he was, you know, say something like, man, inking Justice League was really hard, you know, like, what a chore, you know, or said something even, you know, like, you know, if, yeah. like... How do I tell Jim I want to break up with him and hang someone else and you know you know to his wife or something? You're eavesdropping and you're you're gonna just continue because it's juicy oh, gossip. It's it's uh, what the kids call it, you know, hot tea or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what it, whatever. <laughs> I put the hot in there just to make it funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me. I I, I went to uh, there's one party. Uh, I went to one party at what well, I don't know what it was the Thursday night and. And there's a bunch of influencers there. I got to share this story about it. Uh, uh, so I don't, this is both my high and low. Uh, I'm gonna go. And uh, so I'm just hanging out and, uh, and uh, uh, a gaggle, a gaggle, like five influencers like come running up. And I'm talking to this guy named Josh, who's a friend of mine. He's uh, uh, taller than me, as is most people. And, and he, but he's a white guy with you know, brown hair, wavy hair. And um, uh, and they all run up to him. And they go, "Are you Jim Lee?" <laughs> so I, and I'm talking to Josh, right? And, I, and and but I couldn't hear. It was very loud. And and he's like, "Mm mm mm mm." And I and I, I didn't know what was going on. Sorry. And then uh, but then he goes, uh, "It's." It, then he pointed over to me. And then they all turn to me and go, like, "Oh my God, you're Jim Lee. We're your biggest fans." <laughs> and uh, and uh, we love DC. And 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 uh, so that was kind of. I don't know. I guess that was a low. 
Yeah, but it was. Uh, but where was I going with this? Uh, there was something. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. There was there was something it's more. Hot tea. No, no. Oh no, I, that's it. So, uh, so, there were, I was saying like, are you guys influencers? Like, what is it like? Do you just sit around and you wait for someone to call you and say, hey, make a TikTok video about you know, make a video about this or whatever for socials? And I said, hey, have you guys have like heard of TikTok? Like, it's a really hot thing. Are you guys on that? And then they, and they believe that I guess. They, they believed that I didn't know anything about TikTok. So that was like the joke. I was, I was trolling them, but they didn't get the joke. And then, then I felt like doubly sad that, that they thought I was so disconnected from pop culture that I wouldn't know what. Like, so like I could actually sell that as a concept to them because you know, I probably look like their grandfather. So anyway, um, Zai, Zai Yu, I would describe you as a 45-year-old. Wow, is that, is that good or bad? Do That's good. Him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> ban that. No, I can't even say that. I was gonna, <laughs> let's keep this clean. There, there are kids here, Kelsey. Uh, all right, hold on. This is hard to draw. The reason why it's so cropped in is that this table, and I'm standing. I'm not, I'm not seated. This thing is like mid-chest high. It's a very tall table, and we can't bring it down. So this camera, the stand, is at its height. Maybe, PK, if you hold it, can you hold it during the street? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like literally reaching for the, um, yeah, like, like the, you guys would get vertigo and motion sickness. Um, all right, I'm going to move this piece of tape. Okay. Yeah, but that was cool. They were, they were really funny, though. We, we had a good time. And, um, but, I, you know, I, I, I was just trying to imagine what it's like. Do they just wait till, uh, and I said, well, do you, do you wait? for a call from your agent and they're like oh i wish i had an agent so um but no they were more proactive they uh one of them said like she just created videos about her favorite dc characters and then would send them to people and if they liked them they would you know hire her to create more they were kind of like in-depth in-depth um sort of studies or analyses of characters um anyway just tell me if i'm off stream or off camera, sorry. I know I'm on stream. Okay, all right. Now look at this. This is wrong. See how, huh? I'm off camera. All right. See this? This is wrong. See how the the rendering goes here? I'm almost, well, is it wrong? I don't know. Maybe, right. hold on. If I do this, it's right. Okay. Got it. All right, anyone else? Anyone else have a, a story, like something cool that happened? Oh, you know, it was really, cool. my high was uh, meeting, uh, Junji Ito, he's uh, oh, yeah. a manga artist uh, from Japan, and uh, uh, I was really, Viz Media created this art exhibit over at the Marriott, they, they sort of transformed one of those business meeting rooms that you see everywhere into this lovely gallery, and uh, there were a ton of people there waiting to see him, and I think that the signing was equally as sold out. Um, but you know he's got that show on. I think it's on Netflix, right? So that's incredible. Like obviously manga is uh, having more than a moment. There, it's a, a renaissance, I want to say, because uh, do you guys remember from that? Was it the '90s? The Tokyo Pop or whatever? Yeah. Was it the '90s? No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so he, uh, oh, hey, Book and Red, I need you to, yeah, sorry. I just, it's distracting. I, I don't, like, uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, sorry. I call him out. Okay, all right. <laughs> what were you guys talking about? Oh, all right, we'll share it with all of us. Let's, let's see, yeah, you know, I should have said that. I've been a teacher. Uh, Mr. Buchenred, <laughs> would you like to share that with the rest of the class? You'd like to hear the story? Yes, of course. Yeah, it's story. Um, yeah, so it better I be funny. Of... No. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to uh, the sales and went there like... The sales pavilion, let's explain it. Right, so the sales pavilion, the top of the convention, there's this thing, these big white sales, and, and they do a lot of celebrity, like big names, autograph like sessions up there. Yeah, go ahead. And then uh, there was a long line for it, and there was only five blocks that you're supposed to press. You either 
win it or none at all? Wait, five what? There's like these five mystery bo- like uh, like these press buttons you're supposed to press, and it, it lights up. Or when you go up to it, it's like. Um, Kind of, okay. No, like if you go to, I used, if you used to go to uh, like Cabo or like Mexico through customs, there was like a button, you push it. If it turns green, you're okay. If it turns red, you, they, they ser- seize and search your stuff, right? It was a random, that's what, you're, but there are five buttons? There's five, there's five go up at a time and then. Uh, oh, five people go up at a time. You yeah. push the button, all your, your fates are intertwined. <laughs> oh my God. Either all Either all five don't win, or one of oh, them will win. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, only one of the five win? Yes. This is like this is like Squid Games or something. <laughs> this is awful. The other four fall through the floor to their deaths. Uh, and so you are in a group of five. Yes, five at a time. And then yeah. basically, once you go up... Who pushed the button for your group? Uh, no, it's basically all have to press the button at the same time. It's one a single button. Yes. So you all put your hands on top of each other? Uh, no, there's five. There's five. There's five. What? This sounds so complex. There are five separate buttons. Five people walk up and they all press their button. At the and only point. one will turn green and the other four turn red? Not always one will turn green. So every, all five could be losers, but if there's a winner, there's only one. Oh, so they're just moving five people through at a time. They got yes, five. Yeah. Right, uh, let me, uh, if you tell the story to someone else, <laughs> do it this way. <laughs> five of us come at a time. There are five buttons. You push the button. If it's green, you go. And if it's red, it, it, your, your fates are not interlinked at all. They're, they're just processing five people at a time. Yes. And they would do ten if they had ten buttons, but they only had five buttons. Yes. Okay, got it. <laughs> Everyone clear? <laughs> okay, that's all right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. The next live stream uh, with people, I'm gonna put five buttons, <laughs> but I'm gonna have them all intertwine. Like you, you put, hey, so so you push your button, and I got red and failed. Okay, and then the other four all failed as well. You're all uh, <laughs> else. Okay. Uh, I try to be nice. Um, and and then what? Do you all like hug each other and console one another? Uh, then I just move on. That's harsh. <laughs> like you have to wait in line to even push the button, right? Yes. How long did you wait in line to push the I button? Wait, I went up to sales like around uh, maybe seven a.m. and they start. Wait, wait, wait! He went up to the area at seven a.m. local time. Seven a.m. What time did you wake up? I woke up like maybe six thirty. Six. Do you shower? <laughs> okay, you shower. All right. So in a half hour, you can shower, dress, eat. And get uh, to the, I just ran to the car. Oh, you ran. Okay, you ran. I, I, that's a, that half an hour. That's okay. All right. It's manageable. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's manageable. It takes me like an hour to get up and do all that stuff. And, you know, I mean, this does not come naturally. I, I have to put a lot of work into it, a lot of product. Um, <laughs> anyway, so then what do you do? Uh, after I failed. Do you call the manager and say, hey, there was something wrong? No. Uh, no, I just failed and then go do something else and then try the next day again. But you wasted how long? An hour in line? Well, you, you, you got there at 7 yes. and you got to the button at what time? Uh, we started around 9.30. 9.30. Nine, wait, wait, hold on. My turn didn't start until like around 10-ish. The what? The line was that long. Yeah. Three hours. Yeah. Wait, you, you were in line for three hours? Yes. Just wow. to wait to press the button. Wow. Sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> What does that feel like? Can you share? Like, what does that feel like? Uh, torture. <laughs> torture. Can you get back in line? <laughs> you, could, you could. I don't feel like. It. Wait, is this just for that signing, or is this just the for way? That signing. Because the way the convention does it, right? They have an app or something now, right? Or no, you go up to the sales in the morning. There's and some lotteries. Yeah, yeah, there's some lotteries. Some of our lotteries, some are on sites, but my site is lotteries. Yeah, but someone yeah. said that you can put more. Uh, votes towards a, a certain signing, like you, you, yeah, you yeah, get like yeah. five points, yeah, yeah. virtual points, yeah, virtual points, and then you can put them all, like weight them, so you increase yes. your chances. But not all the signings, like the one that he's talking about, wasn't yeah. on the portal. So yeah, there's all like, you can only go on site for some of them and wait three hours. You know, so the weird thing about that, uh, and I've noticed this over the years, is that sometimes I end up with people in my line that really aren't fans they just they won a lottery like they, yeah. they put five things in and it won or it's sometimes like a, a couple or two friends or let's say a husband and wife the husband really wants or the wife really wants the signatures as a fan what you know I don't want to 
uh, display bias. And um, she loses, but then the husband wins, so he has to go do the line, and he's in line, and you can see that he doesn't want to be in line, because he's not <laughs> a fan, and he's just like, yeah, you know, sign these for my wife, because she didn't want, like, but, but then she's sort of robbed of that interaction moment, right? So that's, that's sort of the flaw in the system that I, I see. But I get it, that's a lot better than going and, and, and uh, not being able to get something signed because the line's too long, right? So they're, they're trying to be fair, but that, that's kind of what happens. I, I've, I've noticed that. Okay, so then what? So then what? Yeah, then what do you do? I tried again the next day and failed again. Oh, you, you wait another two hours? Same process again and failed two days. Wow. Did any of the other people that came up uh, win in that second that group? I know of. I didn't see anybody that I know of won. Wow. Brutal. It is brutal. Did anyone, uh, anyone else do this? I feel like they could just film that and it would be like uh, an interesting fun. game, right? Like. This is the line that happened. Right? Wow. I went and looked. And yeah. You looked at, I, I looked at the buttons? <laughs> or the line that was too long, right? Yeah, I was like, this is a one by time. And I had to randomly not get something or randomly get something. So. Got it. Okay. I, I did it for, uh, I gave blood and they had that same box. Wait, you gave blood? Yeah. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. You come to Comic Con and, uh, and your thing is, your, 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 uh, your kink is to give blood. Uh, what? So, so my, uh, Fiance doesn't like to come to Your fiance does not like to come to Comic Con, <laughs> but, but you don't care. You don't care. <laughs> Obviously, you don't care, right? Wait, hold on. How long have you guys been going out? Going out? Well, fiance. All right. How long have you been engaged? Uh, Am I asking too many personal questions? Two years. Three years? Yeah. You seem like you were unsure. Yeah. Uh, two questions. Huh? Two questions? Yeah. Huh? What? Well, first one was how long we were together. In the okay. All right. How long have you been together? Ten years, yeah. okay. So seven years yeah. together. Finally, you proposed to her yeah. at Comic Con. No, <laughs> where? where? <laughs> That's a different story. Different, so yeah, so you proposed to her. She said yes. Yeah. You are the light of my life. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want to devote everything that is me. You are my soulmate. You are my other half. You complete me. I want to support you in everything in life. And she says, I don't want to go to Comic Con. You say, All right, see you later. <laughs> she came. She, she came. came. She's yeah. just in the hotel room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you give her water and food, or you just like lock her in there? She'll come to Comic Con. She'll come inside, but she doesn't like to swim all the time. But she likes to get blood, so I get blood because I don't like needles. Okay, okay. <laughs> you're, you're rushing the story because there's so much. She likes to give blood. Yeah. Is she. Um, well, see, that's ironic. Is she in the medical field? No. But see, that's the ironic thing, too, because she likes to get blood. But she, she likes the blood. sensation of blood flowing out of her body? She likes to help people. So that oh, she likes to help people. Blood. Okay, yeah, she's, she's altruistic. She's kind. She's, yeah. that, she's loving. That's why I was so attracted yeah. to her, that she likes sharing her blood with other people. <laughs> right, so, so that was a... She okay. likes to get blood, but she usually can't, because she doesn't, like, you know, you have to meet, like, the requirements for iron and everything. Uh, 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 this is not going to take a sad, <laughs> tragic turn and make me look like a jerk. No, okay. the thing is she tries, yeah, she's a hemophiliac. No, 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 no. What? She tries, but I. She gets she gets rejected sometimes for yeah. getting blood because she has maybe some existing health issues. Is what you're saying? No. She's squeamish around needles. No, she she actually doesn't mind that part. I'm the one that's like that. So it's kind of ironic because I can always get blood even though I don't. Really what type? Needles. What type blood do you have? Uh, o positive. Oh, that's good. That's a good that's, that's that's. That's a good one. We have a doctor here. Uh, so, is that the universal donor or universal acceptor? O negative is universal donor. That means we. So, O wait, O positive is bad. That's like super rare. Yeah. I mean, not bad. I meant like you know, like okay, okay. All right. So, where where do you get blood around here? I've never. Uh, in this hotel. <laughs> How did you find out about this? Uh, Is there a website? On the Comic-Con website. Oh. Comic-Con, they've been doing it for like the past... Uh, look, I've, I've given blood before. I, I don't want to make it seem like I'm cool and don't care about my fellow man. I, yeah, I, 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 I too will... I am B positive. I'm B positive. I, yeah, yeah. I failed the blood studies. I didn't quite get there. Um, so, so, 
wait, how does, what does this have to do? Okay, so the, so you gave blood and that was your high or your low? Um, or no, the, the, so you were leading up to the high or low, right? So you went and gave blood and then... Oh yeah, and then okay. so I did that little box thing too. So it looks like a little Tesseract. So yeah. it's either like you click on it and it'll either go green or red. And if you go green, you win something. Yeah. So then I won like a ticket. So I won something like a sales pavilion. So that was kind of cool. What, what, what do you win? It was just a... So, that was the ironic thing too, because they have a bunch of cool stuff. So yeah. You go up there and you're like, oh, cool. And then they're like, you can't have anything that has a yellow tag. And then I was like looking at it, and I was like, everything on here has a yellow tag. Oh. So I ended up getting like a Spider-Man print. So that was pretty cool. That's cool. Um, what what Spider-Man? It was print. just from the the animated series. Okay. So. Wait, wait. So there's an area in the con where you can just push buttons and then <laughs> win random stuff. No, that was at the actual blood. Like you oh, 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 if you give blood, you can you can push, like, this whole con is about pushing buttons. I, I, I'm going to bring a little button device. Uh, I'm going to get Simon Says, like, you know that game? And if you complete 16 sequences, you might get a random thing. Uh, okay. And then, did she come to the show, your, your fiancé? Yeah. She, she comes, she likes to usually look at, like, uh -huh. Artist Sally, <coughs> and just she doesn't like lines, but she likes to like just look for certain things. Yeah. Like and, stuff. and did um, do you guys have a wedding date? Um, not yet. Okay, it's one of those. I see. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so much me though. Oh, she. It, oh, she's the one that's that's well, doesn't want to rush into things after ten years. Yeah. No, no. Well, uh, like, <laughs> He's like, you know what? He's like, can I leave early? I've got stuff to do. <laughs> you seem a little uncomfortable. I feel like this is, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like this is, I feel like this is group therapy. Do we need to bring her here? Can we? Is she here? Is she downstairs? Let's bring her up. No. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I won't grow you anymore. I was just. All right. Well, that, that, congratulations. Um, so, uh, all right, so, so you got a non-yellow ticketed item, so that was cool, and then what was the low? The, the fact that you got a non-yellow ticketed item, or? No, no I think the walking. The I, walking. I, Is this your first Comic-Con? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're shocked. This year, there was more walking. <laughs> no, I like the buildings got further apart. Yeah, no, no. I wore the wrong shoes this year. Ooh, you wore the wrong shoes. You decided like it was like the first day of a new school. I'm gonna like, what 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 do you wear? Are you wearing them now? Yeah. You it's so terrible. you realize oh, you only bought one pair of shoes? Yes. Okay. Oh, all right. Let me see. But I did let me buy see. Insoles. That they look like comfortable. That. Yeah, they're kind of comfortable, but I have better ones. They don't have much of. Uh, yeah. They're not. They're like, those are like skateboarder shoes, right? Not. No, skate, like the, skate, skate shoes, right? Um, well, they're, they're not like running shoes. Yeah. I messed up. Right. <laughs> so. Sure. Would you like a foot massage? <laughs> <laughs> I, not for me. I, I'm <laughs> someone else. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Anything else? Anyone else have anything to share? They're like, I, I don't want to say anything now. Yes? I picked the heart from yeah. Scott. Oh, uh, Scott Williams, the same yeah, Scott Williams? Yeah, same Scott Williams. Oh, let's see. Let's share it on stream. Let's see what you got. You carry this around with you all the time? <laughs> well, it's, uh, I carry both. I, I, it's only, the only holder I have. So, uh -huh. I, yeah, so I was just like, okay, well, Take a might look. as well bring it to, the con, to this event. Yeah. Hold on. Can you guys see it? Oh, it's too small in there. Here, hold yeah. on. Oh, what's that on the back? There the other high of my con. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. This character's a uh, what? No. Uh, <laughs> look at that. He draws claws. People ask me, can you put claws on that? And I go, nope. <laughs> <laughs> claws are extra. Wow, that's nice. That's nice. Thank you. Yeah, that was the first thing I, I was at a preview night. Just ran to Scott's booth. Uh -huh. so took a look did at you, what Did you literally run to his booth? Because you, you would be, I would have given the oh, you, you walk quickly. You walk, yeah, yeah, you're not allowed to run. Yeah. And on the back, look. Look at that. No arms, no claws, nothing. Uh, Just two heads. <laughs> Like, is yes. Yeah. There you go. Well, thank awesome. You. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Uh, so, so the, 
that was pre-done. He, he doesn't draw like. Yeah, he has a Scott has like a binder you flip through. He says uh-huh. like he posts on his Instagram like, hey, right. These are some of the things I have at the show. Come for you know first come first serve. Right. And so I was like, oh yeah, you know I took a look and you know can't pass up Wolverine. Right. And it's, it was great. So my two big pieces for the show were yours and his. Oh, fantastic! Great. And then and then. Uh, Hello. Yeah. yeah. Um. Probably like lack of sleep. You know, lack of sleep? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that. <laughs> how, how many hours do you guys get a night? Three or four. Yeah. Four, oh, four uh, oh don't push the table. Oh, sorry. No problem. Four if we're lucky. Uh-huh. Uh, four uh, hours? Wait, whoa, what? I had a night's better. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? There's no parties. Like, uh, uh, maybe there are. I don't know. Maybe there's... Find a party. Huh? You can find a party. You can find a party. <laughs> there's a guy with... Uh, yeah, he's got sunglasses on. He's got sunglasses. He's the only guy with sunglasses on. He's like, are, are you stoned? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Huh? Um, Sir, do you know where you are? Yeah, no. Uh, are you faded? Is that? I, I'm trying to, I, want, I want to say the right lingo because I'm. I realize no, like I'm a bygone era. Disney party. Yeah, there the gala. Wait, what? Wait, what? You went to a Disney party. You went to an X. The Disney one they had. Hellfire. The Hellfire. Hellfire. Uh, Hellfire. Yeah, that, so I was there. Yeah, got it. You were there. Yeah. So. Wait, I I couldn't get an invite. How did you get there? How did you get there? <laughs> It was like okay. a paid event, yeah. Oh, paid event. Okay, I, I I think Jeff Cam Scott Campbell was there. I saw yeah, on his feed. Right. That's that's how I knew. I just right. so you went there, mm-hmm. and uh, yes. it, that party like all these parties shut down at eleven o'clock. Exactly. So exactly. Find another thing to do. So uh, so you find another thing to do, right? Okay. And, and when you say we, is it you Me by yourself? And you and a friend. Yeah. Okay. You go to like a, I know a place that they do karaoke and it's like you dance too, so it's like a little club. Oh, is that next to the piano bar place? No, this one's like in Mission Hill. Cheated. Oh, Mission, but okay. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who said uh, that? There's kids that walk. Cheetos. Cheetos. There are kids that watch the stream. I have, I had parents come up like I, I'm so glad you run a kid-friendly stream I can put them on the TV and go do other things yes yeah exactly right so let's okay because I would cut you off I would be mute doot, doot. yeah I, I was anticipating so you and your friends went to a carry karaoke place <laughs> yeah and then you guys sang basically till three o- oh and that place is oh because they don't serve alcohol or do they that one yeah because it's a basically a bar it's a bar but they're oh, okay and then and then you got up early. Uh, yeah. All right. And, that, and, and then, anyone else sleep deprived? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Who? Yes. From from what? Um. Uh, you have a new baby, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's, any, that's, yeah. that's independent yeah. of the con. Yeah. You're actually getting more sleep at the con because you're. Yeah. No. No. I go home. Oh, you go home. I All right. Home. Yeah. Maybe next year you should get a hotel room down here. You get it. Uh, yeah. No, I started doing I that. No, because um, I lived in San Diego, and I would drive back and forth, and I shouldn't share this story because, anyway, so, uh, but I will. Uh, so, um, I was out uh, at a, di- a, a talent dinner, like uh, like uh, Mark Miller and Grant Morrison, and uh, I think it was the first time I really met Grant, and, you know, we, we had too good of a time, and I stupidly drove home, and... I, and I made it home, like, and I was like so thankful. But then I was like, ro- I got out of the car, I rolled around on the ground in my driveway, and uh, and I was just like, D- I cannot do this again. Like, you know, I was like celebrating the fact that I made it, and I was just really stupid. And I, and so, ever after, ever after, ever since, ever since that, uh, I've always gotten a room down here, even when I lived here. And uh, yeah, no, no, I, I, yeah, I think I think that's probably, you know, you gotta. Growing family, you're, yeah, it's, that's the why. Yeah, see, that's a smart. That's a smart. Yeah, yeah. This life is sick 
right now. He left her at home. Oh. No, she's better. She's, she's better? better. She's better. <laughs> Wait, you said, you said, she's like, I don't feel well. You said, I've got these tickets to Comic Con. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. She had a fever yesterday. She had a fever? Uh, how high? How? She said, I didn't check it, but she was <laughs> 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 You look fine. You just visually scanned it, and she looked. Don't worry, she had a fever. She, uh, and this morning, no fever. Yeah, she's feeling better. Feeling better. She was like, I can come to the con. <laughs> Let's right. that to rest. Right, but, you, but you've come to the con every day. I'm sorry? Every day she, you've come to the con, right? Yeah, she got sick yesterday. Oh, she still got sick yesterday. Yeah. I wake up, I, I, I get like, I, I, I can't sleep in. I keep waking up. Like today I woke up at 6.30, even though I didn't have to. Uh, but I, my, my throat always feels sore. And I think I'm getting sick, but I, sick, but I think it's because I'm talking so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm hoping. Um, anyway, okay. Cool. All right. Anyone else? Anyone else? I did want to mention. Yeah. Um, what? Anything you get? Pick up anything, yeah, Scotty? Yeah. yeah. So, um, Bill Sinkevich did a hush piece. Oh. For me. Yeah. And and, so, and uh, Jeff Loeb forwarded it to me. You sent it to Jeff Loeb. Did, yeah. He forwarded it to me, and I couldn't see it on my phone. The the image is so large, I can only see a corner of it. You know what I'm saying? Does it's, really? Yeah. It's like here. I sent him a few pictures. Uh, I, I'll show you. But anyways, like, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I, I thought you would get a kick out of it. Is it me dressed up as like uh, <laughs> no, no, poison ivy or something? It might be. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, Bill, can I? I got a weird request. I'm a big fan of Jim Lee, and I'm a big fan of Batman Hush. Yeah. I want you to <laughs> paint Jim as poison ivy. All right. See how? Let's see. See the email here. See how like the photos loaded. That's the corner of here. I'll show you. I'll show people. You have to right. use the Gmail app. Are using the? Do I? In-app. Oh, if you use the in app. I don't want anyone's email address exposed. Um, but you can see hmm. Bill's commission piece for me, and I, I'm like, oh yeah, it's beautiful. It's a big uh, blue gray <laughs> square. <laughs> he really knocked himself out for this one. Uh, hmm. So I, and then I can't even I can't even do the finger squeeze. Here, if you want to. Oh, Whatever that's called, well, the pin. This is the, sure. email. This is the email I sent to Jeff. Uh, so, uh, like, oh, there's some cool energy in the middle. <coughs> oh, how come it works on your phone? We both have ask, iPhones. You, sh- you should ask Jeff. Yeah, I, okay. I I, well, let's blame about. Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's badass. Look at that. That's cool. It's Hush firing two forty fives sideways because he's gangsta. <laughs> nice, yeah. nice. Oh, I like that. He's got the pouch. Oh, you know, he does have pouches. You're right, you're right. That's cool. Awesome. But anyways, Bill, this was the first time Bill had done a hush piece, and so he, he said he enjoyed like diving into the lore and really? the character a little bit more because uh-huh. he wasn't as familiar. Um, well, you're telling me he never read Batman Hush? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever see him again, I'll be like, uh, yeah, no, he's he fantastic. Really, yeah, he really enjoys it. He uh, is sort of aspirational for me because, um, you know, a lot of artists, as they get older, the work changes or... I don't know. I don't know what happens. I don't know if it's a physical thing. It's a physical thing or a mental thing where they just, you know, where their, their hands just get tightened up or whatever. Physically, they just can't spend as much time at the drawing board or mentally, they're just not as into it. Um, but, you know, people's styles and work changes, myself included, right? And uh, But his stuff still just really kicks ass. And and he's been in the business. He's been in the game for a long, long time. And uh, I still love the work that he's created. So that's a huge score. Yeah. yeah, and such a nice guy too. And my low is my wife getting sick. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's yeah. That's that's to the shout out. What? Huh? Oh, camera, camera, camera. Yeah. All these, all these streams are education. Did, yeah, did you did you figure out what was the root cause of the illness? No, oh. she, but she's better. She's better now. Okay, cool. Well, I'm, I'm happy for that. Yeah, th- this con was the first convention since I've been with my wife where she has not been here. Um, but it's actually sort of a blessing that the other stuff wasn't the Hollywood stuff. Like, it's it was less chaotic for me. I still had just as many things to do, but I had less things I had to 
you know, sort of juggle in terms of people's schedules, my schedule, other people's schedules, my kids' schedules, all that kind of stuff. So, do you feel like it's been the same chaos for you this year? No, no, no. It's it, it's just it's the same amount of work, but less on my brain. <laughs> that makes sense, right? Um, yeah, if that makes sense. Um, and and my workload at Comic Con has diminished quite a bit. I mean, there was. Probably during D, the early days of DC Entertainment, there was like five days where you you get up and you do a press breakfast junket. Like we would host a breakfast for journalists that would start like seven thirty eight in the morning, and you basically are talking about you know whatever events or editorial pushes. Uh, so you would do a lot of press interviews. You, you then you go from hotel to hotel. You do like IGN Live and um, EW, you know all these different sites that basically do uh, interviews. So there's a lot of interviews that were done, a lot of interviews at the booth, and then multiple signings, and then multiple panels, uh, like four or five panels. Like this year I only did two, right? So, and then you go to a dinner. I remember one year I had three dinners back to back where you literally go and meet with like our partners that publish our content in the world. You just come in and say hello, you know, because the people responsible for that part of the business take those people out. So you go from there. You have like an appetizer there. You get up, go to the next restaurant, and then it's a talent dinner. And then you have like an entree. You get up, and then you go to another place uh, for dessert. And I think it was like three to back to back. And then you go to a party, and uh, and then there would be multiple parties. It wouldn't just be one. There'd be multiple parties, three or four parties around. And, and you go to maybe a couple parties, and you get back like one, two in the morning. You sleep like five, six out, five hours or whatever, and do it again. It was exhausting. Uh, so I'm, I'm thankful that the workload is probably about 60% of that, right? So it, it's a big change. So it, it, it's much more manageable and doable. So, but that, that, you know, but that was self-imposed. I don't think it was necessary, but it was a thing where we were so excited about the create, you know, start of DC Entertainment and, you know, New 52 and things like that. Okay. Do you miss those days? Like, oh. No, no, I, I, I think it's, it's, it would be hard for me to, and, and, and I would drink. I would go out and drink all, all along. I'd be buying people shots, and, you know, like, it, it was, and last night I had, I had a beer, but, you know, um, but I didn't drink any other night, and I just, yeah, you get older, you gotta just be smart, right? So, trying to get reasonable amount of sleep, not push myself too crazy, and try to maintain but I, like I said, I keep waking up super early, and I go, you know, I go to bed. I went to bed at like twelve thirty, and I was like, uh, I can sleep in now because I, I'm not straight. I can sleep, I, I set the alarm for eight fifty a.m. knowing I had a stream at nine. No, I, <laughs> <laughs> and I woke up at six six thirty on my own. It's just like, uh, why? I'm just excited to be here, I guess. Um, anyway, any other uh, pickups? Bot, you know. Purchases. Picked up uh, Adam Hughes, uh, Catwoman. A commission? Did he do it here? Or? It was like a, he had a portfolio, and that was there, so I was like, I picked that one up. Okay. So it was like on preview night. Right. Yeah. So you collect Zatanna. Yeah. But also, you're cheating on Zatanna with Catwoman? What's going on? <laughs> hey, you're confusing me. I, I, you're the Zatanna guy. Yeah. Well, I, I have a sketch. You're tired. How many Zatanna sketches do you have? Definitely 60 plus. Oh, this is a punker 13. He's got sunglasses. 60 plus. Yeah. yeah. What is that? Like it's like 90. You're embarrassed to say. <laughs> no, no, no. 60. Uh, that's yeah. a lot. Do you ever look at it and go like, what was I thinking? No, no, you know. You, you go, I want more. Well, yeah, different, different artists, you know, are trying to get the better one. Or you up oh, better one? one. Oh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like mine. No, 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 no. no. Uh, the one I did. I, yeah. Wait, so... So you look at it and go like, oh, you know what, I can upgrade this one. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. basically you get a head sketch. I'm like, no, now I can go, you know, bust or a full body kind of thing. So it's just, that's how, that's the upgrade, I guess, you know. Right. So, uh, so I take it that Adam didn't have a Zatanna. No. You already have one from him, I'm sure. I have one, yeah. It's like a, but it's like a. I've seen his Zatanna. Right. Thing. Who does the best Zatanna? You won't hurt my feelings. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Uh, which one's your favorite? I guess his run was pretty nice back in like in two thousand, like early. Uh huh. His atomic covers were like 
probably the best ones. That's why I was like always Adam Hughes, go for him. Yeah. Or Mark Brooks. That's the one I'm trying to get eventually. So. Mark Brooks is the one you want to eventually get? Yeah. But he does for like full on painted stuff. Yeah. But he switched it now. He's doing like kind of like sketch uh, blanks. Like a comic blank. Oh, he's blank. doing uh, black and white stuff now? No, um. Sketch covers. Sketch covers, basically. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, okay. I got it. And got if it. I get something, I kind of want it on like on a paper. Right. So eventually it could be framed or kept in a portfolio. Right. So you like Zatanna and then Catwoman is a close second. Uh huh. That's, that's it. Oh, the one you got from. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's let's share it with the people. Show the class. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys carry your art with you at all times? You don't trust the the housekeepers to. <laughs> yeah. I, I I do think about it. Like when I leave stuff in my hotel room, like, wow, this is gorgeous. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. Look at that. That up. Now I feel like uh, I feel very untalented. <laughs> Look at this. Can you guys see it? Someone's calling me. Hmm. There's a uh, someone calling me from Diana, but there's like a weird uh, what are, what are these things called? A squiggly line in front. Which one? See this? The tilde. Yeah, it says yeah. tilde Diana. What is that? I don't know. Bob, you're a former cop. <laughs> Should I? Uh, WhatsApp it audio? Looks like it's spam. Of course, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. I know, I know. But it's now I don't answer, answer it though. <laughs> will, will it affect my phone? Straight to the whisper. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Tell the Diana. <laughs> Tell her, are you there? Yeah, but how would they even have my number? Uh, WhatsApp links to apps that all your Apple contacts. All my, I, I don't, I, I didn't, I, I didn't sync it. I didn't sync it. Yeah, I, I keep, I keep that all separate. Anyway, oh well. Sorry, Tilda. <laughs> yeah, Tilda. Like Tilda Sweeney, right? Isn't that an actress? Swanson. Swanson. Swanson sorry. Swenson. Swenson. Tilda Swenson. Something to that effect. All right. Some of you guys have not said anything. I'm paying attention. <laughs> I think that just means they only have low lights. Low lights. Anything I, I awful? Picked, I picked up a, a Adam Hughes uh, headshot. Um, Bride of Frankenstein. Oh, huh? cool. So I mean, he said, so most of the time he only does a portrait. Right. Headshots. But he's, he's like, there's only two characters that I'll do at last. Yeah. Bride of Frankenstein and the Rocketeer. Because uh, the, the hair? Yeah, because of the hair. Okay. Um, and the other thing I picked up was a peach momoko. Uh, oh right. Magic. magic um, with a how how crazy was that line? It was crazy. Did you have to push some buttons? No. No. <laughs> so they had a line. You how long did you wait in line? Um, I got there right away. You got there right away. Yeah. So what does that what does that mean right away? Like you um. I, well, I woke up. I was. Oh, what time I, do you I wake up? What place. time do you wake up? Woke up around 6.30. You try to be quiet because you don't want to wake, wake up Book and Red. You kind of... Yeah, you, yeah. You, you, you just... <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, and then I take this... <laughs> Get some sleep. No. Uh. <laughs> there's a, there's a, the, the pro line that you can go through around back. That's right. So you have a badge that allows you to get early access to the floor. Yes. You're one of those people. Yeah. No, no, so, no. The exhibitors are the one. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, the, there's le levels of evilness. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 The, the most evil are the exhibitors that get super early access, and then they send their runners to wait in line to prevent people like Book and Red to get, you know, like, they get the stuff early. I mean, that's just the way it is. They game the yeah. system. Then there are people like you. You have a pro badge. Yeah. And that allows you to get back. You went through the back, which is probably not the way you should no, be going into. Because the... I still have to like get to the other side. All right, I mean, but, and she has two. Right, but you still days. you yeah. still get to go ahead of the rest of the hoi polloi, right? Yes like, and no. You get, like, you get like a five ten minute head start. So you get a five or ten minute head start, yeah. and you look reasonably fit. So if you walk fast, you can get yeah. like very fast. Yeah, I've so. been you know trying to do some power walking training. 
<laughs> you guys, you train for Comic Con, like you know, like, <laughs> like, like, like right. you're watching like YouTube videos, how to walk faster, and just you know, you like, uh, and your shoes, your shoes are comfy. No, I, uh, I, I have insoles, but you I, have insoles, but I, I have the bad Converse. Right. Are you using the bathroom? Uh, no, no, of course. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I, I, one or two. Do you have your <laughs> <laughs> the, mic, the mic picks up. All right, can someone time this? <laughs> yeah. Your toothbrush is in there. Is there, any, is there anyone in chat? Uh, we're ignoring the people in chat. You guys doing good there? I'm sorry. If anyone has any questions for the email here, I... I've been super curious. Yo, Joe Jip, Joe, no, Joe, no, go big PP. What? <laughs> I read that out loud. That was not what I meant to do. Uh, great, 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 great. Chat is happy chat. Good, yeah, no, good, good. Uh, oh, hey, well, hey, Demon Girl Zero Zero. <laughs> hey, Kelsey. It's my daughter, Kelsey, and her boyfriend, Mauro. Say hi, everyone. Oh, are you here for the donuts? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's milk there too. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. You know where did uh, Streamlabs is where I want to go for it. Let's 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 check. Let's let's take a little bit of a break here. We're all listening to see. No, that was quick. That was good. That was that was a fast packing break. How nervous were you in there? <laughs> it was like you're like you're probably sitting there. Do I get up and use the bathroom? Oh no, I gotta go. I gotta go. All coffee in the morning. Yeah. Oh yeah. All that coffee. I should have like um, had them bacon X lax into the donuts, and then, and then <laughs> and the stream goes horribly awry. Yeah, yeah, like like bridesmaid scene. Yeah. All right, let, let's let's um, let's shout out some people here. We got Frylock twenty two, sub tier one, Dancing Dog sixty has uh, cheered with 100 bits, Franker Z100, and random question for you channel followers, that's you all. Does Jim prefer to use Strathmore 300 Smooth, as he's using now, or does he also use the 300 Strathmore Vellum? Is it a matter of preference, or does he use whatever is at hand? Uh, wait, but the, you're asking me, like, uh, what do you guys, uh, he's, ask, he's asking you, he doesn't want the answer from me. What, what, what is the answer to this question? Just draw. Just draw, that's right. It doesn't matter. But I use the smooth uh, because it's smoother and it takes ink, like the rougher the paper, the more absorbent it is for the ink. And so um, the lines will kind of bleed out a little bit into the toothiness of the paper. So the smoother the, the finish, the slicker the line. But if you go too smooth and you use like plate finish paper, it's like drawing on glass and it won't dry very quickly and you can smear it easily. I don't like drawing on plate either. So smooth is, is the preferred sort of middle texture. Raceland uh, 0001 resub. Thank you very much. Three months in a row. Appreciate it. Sketch 22 has resub for 58 months. How time flies. All right. So 60, right? Kirihiko, Kate. 60 months is August 28th, something like that? 27th. It's, it's August 27th, 2017 is the stream anniversary. Wow. 20, August 27th, 2017. 27th. Uh, yeah. Six years. Yeah. Wow. Um, Los definitely has cheered a thousand bits. Thank you very much. My Batman 600 RRP came back a 9.8 with all three signatures. Thank you very much. That was seven days ago. <laughs> Wait, what is going on? I'm reading super old updates. Okay. Is that possible? Yep. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Right? That no one at the stream has like, uh... Resubbed even using Prime? I mean, uh, that has never happened. Sure. Maybe all the people that sub are here in this room. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. What? Re refresh? All right, hold on. I'm like reading alerts from seven days ago, the last stream. Wait, what's going on here? Yeah, that's it. Oh, wait. Redemption? Oh, oh no, now. I didn't know if that was broken. Wait, top, top, let me know. Okay. Melbo, Meldo the Clown has subbed out of pity. 
Okay, thank you. Daniel J. Bosco. Is, okay, don't, 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 don't send bits. I just, I just, just, I've never had a stream where people, that's fine. It's all, it's all good. No, 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 stop, stop. It's all right. <laughs> stop, stop, no, no. No more one dollars. It's okay. <laughs> you know, I spent three hundred dollars on donuts. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's all good. All right. Uh, so we're close to the end of the stream, but I'm, I'm just, if you guys have things you need to do, people, if you want to go wait in line, push buttons, book and ready. <laughs> I, I don't want to hold you back because. I think he already, he's gone already. Uh huh. He, who? I think Junji's already gone. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice guy. I got to chat with him a bit. Um, and uh, look at his artwork up close. Very, very intricate. Really cool stuff. Um, anything else? Anything else? Well, I got Spielberg. <laughs> Spielberg? Like Steven Spielberg? Yes. What? He was here? Well, he was at somewhere else. Not really part of the Somewhere <laughs> else. You can't even say it. Somewhere else. Like, whoa. <laughs> no, no, that's, no, that's not good. It's not really sanctioned from San Diego, but he just went to the... Jurassic Park offsite is part of the after party. Wait, there was a Jurassic yeah. Park. Well, thanks for sharing. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you scored an invite to this offsite? No. It's no. Not. <laughs> we had to wait for him outside. Oh, you were waiting outside. Yes. He didn't do it on the way in, so the wait. He arrived like around like ten ish, and uh -huh. then, uh, wait for him to come out like around one. Well, his publicist said that right, so the only sign do you have an external battery charger for your phone you must carry one right so you're there you're playing candy crush right maybe. yeah maybe yeah, right. <laughs> what level are you on uh, i can tell the type right, so, <laughs> <laughs> what level are you on i never really played yet. <laughs> oh you never really played? okay what, what what do you do uh we were just chatting and see if he was going to sign or not so at this point my guess is you probably know, recognize and know a lot of the other people that are in line well, there was only the people that in the community of graphing that know that he was going to be there. A community of what? Graphing. What's graphing? Oh, oh, autographing. Got it. I like that. So are you a grapher? You call yourself a grapher or graphist? Uh, I'm not really like a pro grapher. I'm just a regular. Wait, there's a pro grapher? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You're, I'm learning things. I love learning things for the first time. I'm 58, almost 59 years old. I have never heard of, has anyone in the stream heard of this? Yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a grapher. I'm a grapher. I'm pro grapher. Nope, nope. First time also. Yeah. Oh wait, oh, Queen City Amusements. Yeah. Okay, well, that's cool. All right. So you, you consider yourself a grapher, not a pro grapher. What, what, what do you need to do to become a pro grapher? Like, uh, work out more. Uh, those guys, yeah. they, they know like the details, like uh, the ins and outs, like of, let's say everybody's flight. They follow the, the the flight the flight numbers of their private jets and stuff yes. like really. Yes, and what restaurant will they'll be at or any car? They they pay like the maitre d's like hey let me know uh, if I so and so. I actually know how they do it, but then. Uh, well, that's why you're not a pro grapher, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. So, but they go to that, and then and then are they just converting this autographs into cash? Yes, they're flip. They just flip them. And and what can a pro grapher make in a year? Um, Don't so say a number that will make me cry and then regret <laughs> again learning how to draw. Uh, well, some have gotten lucky and made at least five figures. Ooh, wait, five figures? What is that? Uh, One dollar, ten dollars, hundred dollars, a thousand. I'm just doing this for the fans. I ten thousand dollars? Yes, around that range. And but that's not a full time job. I'm pretty sure it's hard to live off ten thousand dollars. Yeah, some of them, they, some of them, they either they make it big during like a one period their works or some of them they'll just like uh, try to get that one shot where they work on many musicians or many of uh, the other types of celebrities right but but yeah no but they they must have another job yeah. some don't some don't yes. wait some just do this oh it's 10 grand in cash yes. right so that's equivalent to maybe fifteen thousand dollars <laughs> like for before uh i'm still having a hard time understanding this okay uh well, maybe, maybe. Do they live with their parents? Do they? Do they live? <laughs> well, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, they were, were. Some have been buying their own home, like a secondary home. A secondary <laughs> home. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Off ten grand? Wait. Oh, <laughs> off doing, uh, you know, autographing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I don't think to wait in line or wait outside for hours and hours to flip something for ten grand. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that that you're probably missing a zero, right? Maybe, but I don't know. But some they have. Is there any pro graphers in chat right now? No, no, no. Wait. That one shot. Oh, Killer Kovacs. Oh, Killer Kovacs. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, what? It's, it's off one flip. Ten, ten per, grand. Ten grand per event. Oh, I thought you meant ten grand for an entire year. No, no. no. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow you around and, and help you improve your stories, <laughs> <laughs> your storytelling. <laughs> I'm gonna be your assistant storyteller. So when we go in, I will tee it up. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my God. There's a thing called Chat GPT. I want you to use this, and it will help you, like, input. All right. Uh, okay, now it makes a lot more sense. Ten grand, uh, an event. Yes. So if they go to Jurassic Park and you're a programmer and they do it right, they're making ten Gs. Yes. And they go to, you know, probably. Like last week, Mission Impossible. Um, yeah. They made at least um, a good amount. A good amount. More than ten grand. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's one event. Now, let's see. How many movies a year? Well, there's plenty of premieres every, like, like here in Hollywood itself, like, um, let's say maybe like two or three on Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. Well, there's, you know, four or five studios, like Disney, Warner Brothers, Paramount, uh, MGM, Amazon, all right, three, four, what am I missing? Uh, Universal. Sony. Well, Fox is part of Disney, right? Sony, right? So that's like six or seven studios. 15 movies each, let's say 12, let's say 12, 12 times 7, 84. 84 times 10,000. Okay, now you can buy that second house. Okay, <laughs> got it. All right. <laughs> Did I misunderstand it? Okay. Can I get your signature really quick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow. Now I do regret learning how to draw. I, 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 what am I doing with my life? Why did I do that in Jerry Seinfeld? Uh, what am I doing <laughs> with my life? These are pro graphers. Wow. So during the pandemic, when there were no premieres, what was going on? Um, pretty much some just had to look for something else to do. Look for something else to do? Yeah, okay. Right. Give blood. No, I can't <laughs> even do that. That's tough to do. Um, awesome. Okay, so then you saw... Steven Spielberg, how was he? Uh, he was pretty good, he, but his publicist said he was just only gonna do once anybody tried to double dip, she was gonna pull him away. What's it, what's, all right, so you're using a lot of technical, <laughs> technical jargon, this is like grapher jargon, right? <laughs> double dip, like, I, uh, like we go, can you sign this? Oh, can you also sign that? I get, I get double dip. Now I understand what's happening here. I'm being double dipped. There's a, there's a, it's a trick, right? It's like, you, you, cause you don't go, hey, sign these two, you go one, and then, oh, can you sign this other well, one? What's, what works over, better? Let's say, like, over, let's say, over here, and then... The, oh, the, it's the oh, same oh, person oh, with two hands, yeah, pretending to be two different people. <laughs> it's <that's> evil. <laughs> wow, that is so evil. I mean, Jim, you're familiar with it during premieres, and you were nah, signing. I sign everything, man. <laughs> but now, I'm not signing another <laughs> single... <laughs> Screw these guys. That's why I tell you, don't sign those blank papers, because they're going to do something, you know, malicious. I draw you. pictures on those I blank mean, no, pieces no, no, of paper. No, 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 the blank paper that they give out, and, like, during premieres, it's like a floppy, like a... Like, it's usually a uh, glossy printer yeah, paper. Yeah, those I recommend don't sign. Them. Why? Because uh, they could toxic actually, chemicals. Um, no. no, because they could actually. I forgot this. They could actually. Uh, what is it? Auto pen. They could what? Auto pen. Auto pen it. Yes, they could actually recognize it from the auto pen and then create many of your autographs from it. Oh, so they can scan it in? Yes. It was like AI, and then they create like a deep fake, and then put my autograph on other things. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so that's why I recommend don't ever sign those glossy papers. If you're yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, uh, wow, okay. Now I don't have any items for Jim to sign. I know, I know. Now I'm like, <laughs> wow. It's a scam. It's a scam. Holy cow. The world is dark. The world is dark. Wow, thank you for sharing that, though. Double dippers. <laughs> Double dippers. Wow. Any other secrets uh, to the trade? Oh, uh, there's plenty more, but I can't think of it. Right okay. Now. <laughs> Do you say stuff like, "Oh my gosh, I'm your biggest fan"? Does that help? Like, is it? Um, it, it helps sometimes. Yeah, but sometimes you don't mean it. But it's good to say. Of course, some yeah. people don't be phony. Huh? Phony? Look, I think there's intense social pressure when you meet someone, you especially if you want something from them. 
you know, you want to be positive. I, I feel the same thing, you know. So, um, so when I went to my first comic book convention, I, I was very effusive about certain books that maybe I wasn't as big of a fan, right? But, but you, you know, you're meeting the person, like, it, you know, you don't want to be a jerk, right? So, okay. Cool. Wow. Learn something. That's great. What does Steven Spielberg's uh, signature go for on the on the market these oh, days? For, on yeah, a Jurassic maybe, Park. Um, maybe his goes for like maybe three hundred or four hundred dollars, depending on what item you got. On. How about Schindler's, Schindler's List? Oh, he won't sign that. He's, he made it clear that he doesn't sign Schindler's List. Mm. You know what I? You know I? You know what signature I own of Steven Spielberg's? Uh, Schindler's List. Or That's right. He I had him sign a laser disc of Schindler's List. Oh, and he even a rare one because yeah and he and he said he I, I never signed this but he signed it for me um, yeah so that's my so I only met him once I think yeah so it was a long time ago during the image days and had a, a meeting with him uh, when he was at Am, uh, when he was at uh, Amblin well he's at Amblin but that was at Universal right and uh, I was rep by CA at the time so it was me and Rob Liefeld we had a meet with him and and. Uh, he wanted us. He wanted us to think about developing. It was sort of like Sinbad and the Seven. Sinbad and the Seven something. Does anyone know? Seas. All right, there's a movie, right? Sinbad and the Seven Seas or Adventures of Sinbad. I don't know. Not not Sinbad the actor. The Sinbad like <laughs> you know like the comedian. Anyway, so so we had a meeting. Where we talked about comics, and he talked about how he read comics as a kid, and he talked about, like Jack Kirby and Captain America and. Uh, it was a fun conversation, and uh, and uh, I I I had a, co a laser disc of, of Schindler's List in the car, and at the end I said like, Mr. Spielberg, would you mind signing this copy of Schindler's List? It was a very meaningful movie to me, and and uh, he was very kind to sign it. So um, I'm curious, why why, why doesn't he sign it? Uh, it's too personal. To me. Yeah, he didn't want to commercialize it, right? So and he said never share the story that I signed. No, <laughs> 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 he didn't say that, but but anyway. Uh, but now I'm like, oh, what is this worth? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> you probably get a lot for it. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it was a uh, gold sharpie, and it's kind of faded, and you know, so it's and, and and the signature is not like super clear or whatever. But anyway, but that's kind of cool that that I might have one of the very few ones. It was cool meeting. Okay, uh, what else we got going on? Wait. Is Kelsey saying stuff in chat? <laughs> She's right here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can say it out loud. Everyone's explaining, a man's explaining to me what a laser disc is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, did you ask him, like, what's a laser disc? Yeah, as a joke. Oh, as a joke. That's right. That's what I was saying. Like, what? I've heard this thing. There's something called TikTok. Are you guys on that? And, like, and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's really great. I'm like, all right, hold on. Let me pull up. Uh, yeah, right, right. right. <laughs> it's very pungent in here. I just want to talk to my dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. When are they going to leave? Oh, yeah. So we have some activity. Jacob, Chris has, has uh, Big Boss 138. Jorge 4277 has cheered. Thank you very much. And I already mentioned Dan and Jay Bosco. Okay, cool. All right. Um, I don't know what it means, but having you guys in here has killed the resub activity, so I don't know if that's a sign. <laughs> it's like, this is not the content we signed up for. All right. Oh, nice. I'm, Dad, I'm, you should talk about your Candy Crush gaming. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, all right. Does anyone play Candy Crusher? Any Crushers? That's what we call ourselves. <laughs> crushers and then Pro Crushers. <laughs> Any Pro Crushers in the room? No? None of you guys play cr Candy Crush? It must be a... I doubled huh? it for my game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double. <laughs> what, what games do you guys play? <laughs> Real game. Snap. Marvel Snap? Okay, yeah, that's a man's game. <laughs> <laughs> and? Uh, Overwatch 2. Overwatch and 2, yeah, alright. Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter 6. Yeah, that's probably it for now. Alright. Mortal Kombat? No? You just like the characters? You I don't like the game? You like the design of the character if you've never played the game. Oh, I play it. But you play it, I'm but not a, big fan of it. not a big fan of the games. But you like the design of the characters. That's that seems rare to me. No. Oh, well, I mean, I'm a uh, an art guy. You're an art guy. Okay. Yeah, so if I like a design of something, I right. tend to follow it. Right. Oh, here. Let me show what I'm drawing, like, because I've been focused on this thigh for a long time. <laughs> 
Ten Mo Suk. Hello, Uncle Jim. Is that a thing? Like, Daddy used to be a thing for a while, right? Like, Daddy, like, right? Not Daddy. Uh, <laughs> you know, we were going like, yeah, it was Dad. No, what was it Father? What, what, you know, like people. Daddy. 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 Dad? You know, like, it was like, uh, like, in the Korean culture, uh, Hyung, which is like, I think, older brother, right? They would just say that, like, anyone that was older. But there was no word for, like, younger. Like, so I didn't know what to say. They'd go, Hyung, and I would be like, you say nothing because you're the superior. Yeah, you're the superior. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get back in your hole. Uh, <laughs> Daddy's always a thing somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, he says, I call every dude that is older than me uncle. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Well, I guess I am. I, am I the oldest person in chat? Is there anyone older here or in person or in chat? No. Okay, that's no. <laughs> There's no, that's silence. Absolute silence. Tagamo 3, I'm 60. Wow. I'm 34. You're not that old, just a bit older, that's all. Oh, that winky face. Thank you. All right. I'm 70. No, really? 74. Amazing. Jim, how do you feel about the Korean law change about the age, you know, not guarding on your birthday and stuff like that? What? They changed that? Yeah. yeah. That's gonna mess up a lot of people. Well, it's, well, it's already confusing, so they're like, okay, let's. It's it's a, yeah, it's yeah. hella confusing. You know why? Because uh, I could never guess the age of my parents. Yeah. Um, so for those of you who don't know, does anyone know? You guys know what I'm talking about? So in Korea, when you're born, well, you're automatically one. You're automatically one. Yeah. You don't start out zero, which makes sense, I think, right? But then you come here, it's always one year different, right? And so I would never know how old my parents were. Because I'd go, oh, you're 67? And they go, no, I'm 66. Or 68, whatever, you know? But also, you your it's more complex than that. They also do it off the lunar calendar. The lunar calendar is when the year resets. Okay, fine. It's a little different. But the lunar the year resets at a different day every year. So depending on the year you're born, you could be one. <laughs> Or, it's so, I can't even explain it. Buchan Red, please help me out. Like, you, you explain this. I, this is a tricky one. You know? I'm, right? You to, have to explain these explanations. Yeah, did, oh, yeah. Then I'll re explain it. Does that make sense? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so, so imagine there's a day like January 1st, and, then, and but then it moves around and every year. And if you were born after January 1st, you're, you're one. But if you were born before January 1st, you're one from the year before. So, that so it's a uh, tremendous confusion i only figured out very recently m that my dad is exactly 30 years older than me and i didn't and i didn't know and you're 30 years younger than me right so we're all going to celebrate 30 60 90 all next year cool. uh yeah 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 <laughs> and uh so yeah that's a like that's a uh it just took me like 58 years to figure out that that's a lot because I would always try to figure out what year and then figure out what the lunar year and calculate from his birth year well, how old he was and I should have just subtracted 30 years from mine. So everybody on the lunar calendar year, everybody that's born in that year celebrates their birthday on the same day? No, they're all considered the, that age and the same thing with horses by the way. A horse is born in the, I think they're that they don't celebrate individual birthdays. They're all that age, no matter what. Uh, anyone a horse person in chat? <laughs> can, can someone Google, like, uh, do you all have phones? No. Horse age, horse age yes, yes. Uh, age of consent for horses. Uh, that's why I want you to put your social screen. I thought you said it was PG. There's kids on this too. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Sorry. I'm the horse man, someone says. <laughs> Julianne, 1989. Yes, please. Can you explain? There's, there's this emoji going on. <laughs> Not a horse. How many people are in the room? Too many. No. Uh, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Because um, my daughter and her boyfriend. All right. Twitch says hello. Hmm. No one, no one is googling horse. No one wants that in their searches. 
anyway, so so yeah, so they sh- change it so you actually now celebrate your birthday on yeah. So my daughter, who's in Korea, so what happens is if you're born in a certain year, if your birthday is like in August, come January first of that year, you turn twenty one January first, and so people go out drinking on that same like everyone drinks. I think they're all legal on that same day. Oh, we got another person, LJ. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Hi. Are you gonna go there? Yeah. Just passing yeah. through? Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, do you need a, do you need another badge? Yeah. Okay. okay. Sure. Okay. Sure. <laughs> There's a door to that room outside. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> There's another door. Out. <laughs> No, no, the, there's a door in there, uh, yeah, okay. or, or the door in that room, okay, either way, whatever, okay. Some people just want to be on stream, that's just, <laughs> ultimately that's just what it is. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so they changed that. And then there also the Supreme Court uh, changed affirmative action, it has nothing to do with birthdays, but I thought it was kind of like, it's an Asian thing. Anyway, all right. Yeah, yes. Horses born in the northern hemisphere. Wait, horses born in the north. Wait, no, no. Horse, horse, horses born in the northern hemisphere. That's the equator and above. Yeah, considered born on January first. The horses born in the southern hemisphere celebrate their birthday on August. <laughs> 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 all right, so all right, it, it, that was. I'm going to say it out loud because it was a little mumbly. But so horses born in the northern hemisphere celebrate. They're all considered born. January 1st, if you're born any time that year. Yeah. But if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, August 1st. Because first. first she was telling me I could find out how old my horse is by his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell me how old a horse is by their teeth? I don't know. I didn't Google it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's even stranger. Wow, what a plot twist that is. <laughs> was that on some, like, I don't know, website that, like, they call themselves hemispherists? <laughs> yeah, that's so weird. Oh, that is so weird. Reference uh, it. Mm-hmm. All right, I gotta finish this, right? Okay. Yeah. All right, we're 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 almost done. <laughs> almost, done. Almost, done. almost done. All right. It is almost eleven. We are gonna uh, raid someone else, right? Is that when we move to another room? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That would be great. We should just randomly yeah, find some other person here and just all like knock on the door yeah. and just live live stream from there. Yeah, we could do that. Although I, I, I'm I'm fairly fair away. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this because uh, I have to go meet someone at 11:30, so it's gonna be uh, to be continued. I don't want to rush it, and uh, it's been a lot of fun just hanging out with you all here. It's kind of like uh, one of the panels I do, but a little more intimate. It's like uh, doing a small club or something instead of a 700-person room. Um, so I will show you. I, I basically have inked like some fabric, her torso, and a little bit of her thigh. So yeah. go. So what do we got? Let's. Oh, hold on a second. I'm so about to be what? What's going on? You're off screen. I know. I know. I'm doing it on purpose. Oh. I'm, <laughs> See, that's why I'm not yelling. At. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. There's a method to this madness. Very quiet. Where is the song I want? Oh no, no, that's it. Okay, okay. So I, it's delayed. I can't tell what's going on. All right. All right. That's the that's the end of the stream. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. I was trying to bring it home, but there's a delay in what I see and what I'm obviously doing.
Um, and that will kill this, like, that will, like, because it's copyrighted music. This whole stream will be invalidated. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to go raid somebody else. So, yeah, do you have, oh, crap, do I have to log in here? Or are you going to just give me the, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, Tofu Without the H. Okay. Yeah. All right, so um, before we uh, go raid someone else, I want to thank uh, our three mods, uh, Kirihiko, Mod Prime, C Crispy Egg Roll, PK. Thank you very much, guys. They uh, arranged, set this all up so people can come up here uh, and bypass security. They got the donuts all set up. Uh, they helped troubleshoot and get this thing up and running because none of this software is set up on this particular laptop. I want to thank all you guys here. Obviously, you guys are longtime supporters of the stream. Six years, um, for a lot of you, six years running. I, I, I'm just playing with you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting the stream and my work. It's been you know, a tremendous honor to be able to do things like this. It's not something I thought about when I got into comics that I would actually be drawing in front of people in a hotel room. Uh, you know, I, I got in it because I thought it was a job I can kind of do in my underwear at home alone. You know, and uh, so, uh, you know, you guys uh, honor me with your presence and I hope you guys have a great rest of your con. So now we're going to go raid someone else. And so please join me and, and uh, we'll go um, hopefully surprise and delight someone. For those of you who are here at the con, have a great rest of the show. And for those of you at home, I will see you guys um, possibly next Sunday. I, the, the, a lot of the reasons why I don't stream is that um, my daughter is involved in equestrian events, and I usually go with her and support her, and it, the hours conflict with streaming you know, priorities, right? So um, if, that, if it's not then, it will be sometime later in August. So I'll see you guys later. Let's go check out this particular streamer. Formal line. Basin.